Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys everything you need to know as a Clemson University student. I wanted to share with you guys a little bit about dining, how it works, the difference between paw points and tiger stripes. So let's go ahead and break down first the different dining halls and dining options on campus. A lot of these different options might be changing or being adjusted a little bit based off of the fact that we are in this pandemic. So keep that in mind, but this is how it was prior to the pandemic back last fall the beginning of this past spring, how these different dining options were utilized and set up. So if we do return to that particular setup, this is how it would be. First off, we have your traditional buffet style type of options where you could go. Swipe your meal swipe. As a freshman, you're required to have an unlimited meal plan. So you didn't have to worry about how many meal swipes you could have per day or per week or even within the semester. You swipe your meal swipe, go eat as much food as you want to. So you would do all of that and then you would exit and then that would be your swipe for that particular meal period. And then there's other retail eateries like Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, Einstein's Bagels, all those are where you would use your paw points or tiger stripe, which is where you wouldn't use your unlimited meal swipes, but you would have a set amount of money, much like as if you had a debit card, and you would use your CUID, which I have mine right here. I'm covering up my information. You need to have this handy because you're going to be utilizing it a lot, or you can use the mobile wallet, Apple wallet version, which wouldn't require you to have this always handy. So I would recommend that you use that. It's just convenient, lighter weight, and less things to remember but as I was sharing before with your paw points you're required to load so much money onto it so with certain meal plans when you get the unlimited you might have 300 200 or 100 dollars and paw points automatically kind of added as a part of that meal plan option so if you have something like that if you have $300 it's paw points and so you can use them on any of the on-campus eateries only on campus so you can use it for Chick-fil-a Starbucks all those places I was sharing before as well as you can use them for the pod which is the on-campus convenience store there's a lot of them located around campus so you want to utilize that I'll leave more information about the different locations on campus of where you can use and utilize your paw points down below in the description as well as any other helpful resources that I'm gonna be sharing today we look and links down below so check out the description for further details about that in regards to tiger stripe it's more like a debit card where you can have you or whoever your beneficiaries are to load money on to and you can use it on campus as well as off campus at a few different providers different restaurants off campus a few of the local grocery stores you can utilize it so it truly is like a little bank card that you can swipe and pay for things you can utilize on campus and a few off campus providers and then pop points is strictly for on campus retail eatery dining options. Hope that clarifies that. It took me a while to kind of understand each one. And another thing that I didn't share before about paw points and tiger stripe is that they do roll over from semester to semester. And now on to the different dining halls. The first dining hall I'm going to be sharing is Fresh Food Company, also referred to as CORE by many of the upperclassmen students. Fresh Food Company is a buffet style. It is located on West Campus next to Letter, which is located on the East Campus. It's right outside of the high rises and low rises. The final dining hall is set up a little bit different, and I've kind of alluded to this in some of my other videos and that is Dalton Hills Hub. So in Dalton you're able to get different meal options. Another helpful thing if you are using to go, I know this is probably going to be changing because the dining hall I've heard is going to be really transitioning into grab and go style food. But prior to the pandemic, whenever you got to go meals, that was an additional meal swipe taken away. As a freshman with the unlimited meal plan, it really doesn't impact you. But if you are a commuter or somebody who's on like a block meal plan, you can only have a certain amount of meals per day. That's something you really want to consider so that was all my helpful information to help you especially freshmen to be successful if you found this video super helpful give it a big thumbs up so more people like you will find this video and be able to successfully navigate their freshman year at Clemson as well follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you have any other questions leave them down below in the comments thank you so much for watching I will catch you guys on flip side see you guys next Sunday bye guys